concept of bulb of pressure this is a short note which is asked in the exam so the question would be something like this explain concept of bulb of pressure so the first point that you will write is that the loads from the building are transferred to the ground via the foundations second point is that the ground is going to be subjected to pressure from this load third point is if we plot points of equal pressure below the foundations then the line joining these points takes the shape of a bulb this is termed as the bulb of pressure so this is going to be your definition of bulb of pressure next point is the bulb of pressure extends 1.5 to 2 times the width of the foundation as shown in the figure next point is that the bulb of pressure indicates the zone of influence on the ground due to the load so the bulb of pressure will indicate up to what depth the pressure is going to act on the ground below the footing next point is when carrying out investigation of the soil the depth of the trial pit public trial bore has to extend at least up to the depth of the bulb of pressure as shown in the figure so this is going to explain how the soil investigation is carried out or what is the significance of bulb of pressure while carrying out the soil investigation the last point is that when two footings are close to each other their bulb of pressure overlap creating a combined bulb of pressure as shown in the figure so now along with this answer you will draw a neat diagram like has been shown here where you can show a footing you can show in dashed lines the bulb of pressure mention w and 1.5 times w and write the label bulb of pressure here on the side you can show a pit and write here that the minimum depth of the trial pit or bore is going to be the same as that of the depth of the bulb of pressure then you can also include this sketch which shows two footings close to each other and you can show that they have got their individual bulb of pressures as has been shown in these dotted lines and then a dotted line indicating the combined bulb of pressure so right like that combined bulb of pressure and individual bulb of pressure here again mention the width of the two footings combined and the depth of 1.5 w of the combined bulb of pressure so i think that should be enough to answer this question of concept of bulb of pressure thank you